I grew up here in San Francisco. My family came from Eritrea to San Francisco back in 1984. And, um, spent most of my time out here, and want to say first thank you to Radar and Juliana for inviting me to come some, be a part of this panel today. Um, I'm not a writer, so I know a lot of folks had pieces that they read, but I brought some artwork, so I was going to pass that around, speak a little bit about myself, and then share my artist statement, and I thought that'd be a good way to go about it. That sound cool? Yeah. Awesome. And so I'll just pass a couple around, and y'all can just pass them around and then leave them in the back somewhere, like whoever the last person is. And so a lot of the artwork I do currently, like Juliana said, has to do with line work. And um, some of the stuff that you'll see here has incorporates a lot of the line work and it incorporates it um, you, you, overlapping faces and also in, incorporating text within that. And so some of these that you'll see um, incorporate some common themes in terms of m stuff going on today in terms of the Black Lives Matter movement. And so you can see that there. Um, and other pieces that I'm passing around, I kind of use overlapping images without text. And in that way, I'm trying to talk about different things in terms of similarities that folks have in terms of, let me pass this out real quick. I'm not really good at multitasking. You can just pass that out. Cool. You can just pass a couple more of those if you want. Cool. Let me see. And so yeah, so feel free to pass those around and look at those. Um, I'm going to quickly just read my artist statement real quick because I think that kind of en encapsulates a lot of the themes that are relevant in my artwork. My name is Mahadir Tesfai. I'm an African from Eritrea. I grew up in the Bay Area and currently reside in Oakland, California. I also currently reside in Santa Barbara. And I want to say it's really nice to have an excuse to come back to the Bay Area. Santa Barbara is a really lame place in many ways. I work at the university, and um, I was just in a meeting a couple of days ago, and it was students who were actually advocating for the need for a white student union on the campus. And that's. <laughs> And that's actually some of the dialogues that are happening. I mean, that's not all the college students. There's a lot of amazing students that I get the opportunity to work with, but I just thought I'd mention that real quick. <laughs> um, my father named me Mahadar. At the time of my birth, he was away fighting as a soldier in the Eritrean resistance while my mother raised my brother and I. Not knowing if he'd return alive, he named me Mahadar, which in the language of Tigrinya means book of record detailing the important facts of one life. It also means the village of one's residence in the language of Tigray. My father named me Mahadar in hopes that he would return to the village of his birth, and if not, his firstborn child to be a living document of his life. I'm an artist. I create paintings, illustrations, utilizing found objects, color, line work, repetition, surrealism, and symbolism to affirm the nuanced beauty of, and complexity of African identities. Uh, my source for inspiration as an artist is constantly shifting, but are rooted in the African traditional and modernist art forms. I love art history, I love functionality, abstraction, and aesthetic qualities of African sculpture. Other inspirations I draw from include geometry of Ismail El Salahi, the line work of Elizabeth Catlett, composition of Romare Bearden, and the prolificity of artists such as Jean-Michel Basquiat, um, as well as the black arts movement and def different political movements that inform a lot of other people's artwork. Um, and I think that's really a good place to leave off. Um, I think I'd really want to engage with folks in terms of the Q&A, but thank you for your time. <laughs>